could be spending hours of working on an Excel file and all of a sudden the power goes down and your work is gone. How to recover? We're gonna find out today. Hey everybody, really nice to meet you. Michael is my name with the Recovery Eats team and we're here to bring you more practical data recovery solutions. Today we're going to talk about recovering Excel files and I know that losing some data sounds like a very scary thing and especially knowing that you have spent several hours to work on a spreadsheet and it's all of a sudden gone could be very frustrating. But today we're going to present you a few easy to do ways in order to bring your Excel files back in almost no time. But before we dive into that, don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe to our channel. Just as every other unpleasant condition that you might experience in your life, there are certain symptoms that might warn you about the problems coming. For example, if an Excel file is corrupted, it may not open and any attempt to open it is going to result in various error messages. Or you might try to access the damaged Excel file and you're going to see nothing but just a blank screen. Or when the damaged Excel file is opened on your computer, the worst case scenario is that the software is gonna hang. Or you might see some symbols and data that are not relevant to Excel at all. Mm-hmm, that sounds really troubled, but I can't wait to show you our recovery ideas. As a starter, we're gonna try to use the Excel temporary files. As a starter, go to Excel, go to Info and select Manage Workbook. Then look around for Recovered Unsaved Workbooks. Depending on the version, you might see a list with all the unsaved files from the pop-up window. Then all you have to do is to select the files that you want to restore back. And if this doesn't give you the desired results, let me give you this cheat by going to the user data and looking up for the unsaved files. For the next procedure, we have to open Microsoft Excel and try to recover the unsaved files from there. You may notice the recovered heading, then select Show Recovered Files, then Excel is going to open a new sheet, double-click on the Excel file on the available file list and you can check whether that's the correct file. If it is, make sure to properly preserve it with the Save As function. If none of these two procedures work for you, it's time to think about actually using some professional-grade data recovery software. So let's download, install and run Recoverit. As a starter, choose the location where your Excel files have previously been stored on. Initiate a scanning process and wait. If I were you, I would use a filter in order to reduce the scanning time and also to highlight all the Excel-related file extensions. Wait patiently until you can see the files in the list discovered by Recoverit. Then select the files that you want to bring back and click on that Recover button. Make sure to save all of these files on a different folder or a different drive of your computer. This is how you can effortlessly retrieve all kind of data that you have previously lost or accidentally deleted and the same counts for recovering Excel files. That's been rather easy, wasn't it? Well. Download the software for yourself and let me know. Comments down below are for your questions and requests for more practical data recovery videos and tutorials. I'm Michael from the Recovery Team. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye!